Hello students and staff of Mammoth Heights Elementary. My name is Mr. Hope Floor. You know me as Mr. H. I'm very honored to have a special guest with me today. Her name is Jasmine and she is one of our sixth graders. Thanks for joining me today, Jasmine. You're welcome. Glad you could be here. You excited to be on the show? Yes. We're glad to have you. Today is Monday, February 13, 2023. And this is... Good, Good morning, morning, Mammoth Heights. Heights. All right, well, let's begin our morning with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise and recite the pledge with us. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, Jasmine. Let's start off with what we have on our lunch menu for today. You want to tell the kiddos what we got for lunch choices today? Today we have dino chicken nuggets or bistro box with a cherry muffin, string cheese, and power seeds. Ooh, those are good choices, huh, Jazz? Yes. Tomorrow your lunch choices will be the grilled cheese and tomato soup or the grilled chicken and pepperoni melt. And if you can make it for breakfast tomorrow, your breakfast will be the... Nature Valley apple, apple cinnamon oatmeal wrap. There you go. All right, well now let's move on to our second step, lesson of the week. We're going to focus on this word all week long. We're going all the way back to our first lessons within the second step program. And we're going to focus on this word. Let me bring it in, Jasmine. And the word is welcoming. 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 Nice job. Here at MHE, we want everyone to feel welcome and that they belong. We know we're welcome when people smile at us and greet us with friendly words. We know we belong when we're included and invited to play at recess. We know we belong when we notice the ways we're all the same and accept the ways that we're different. This week, take time to greet others with a smile and invite them to play. Kind of goes along with our whole theme this year, right? Sometimes all it takes to make someone's day is just by saying that simple word of hi. hi. And that's a big deal to a lot of people. You may not know it, but they really appreciate it. So let's make sure we have a welcoming school, not only at the beginning of the year, but even at this time of the year, right, Jazz? Yes. All right. Now, let's move on to our birthdays happening today. We have a very special birthday. One of our very own, our music teacher is... Mr. Wilkinson. Happy birthday, Mr. Wilkinson. And for our announcements, Chess Club is in the art room after school today, and... It's Kindness Week this week, but it, even more so, it is Black History Month during this month of February. And Jasmine, I asked you a few days ago if you would mind sharing a little bit about what does Black History mean to you? Black History Month means to me that we've, that Black African American people have been through a lot, not only in history, but now too. And we want to know, we want to acknowledge that people are still powering through mm. and making the world a better place today. I love and it. through hard times, we we change it and we, we continue to be. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Jasmine. And I've known you for a long time. You've been at Mammoth Heights for a long time with me. And it, it's just been a pleasure watching you grow into that fantastic student you've become. You. And that's why I wanted to be on our morning show today. And we talked a lot about what could we, who could we highlight for today's Black History Month segment. And you came up with a great one that you want to share with us today. So I chose Amanda Gorman, and Amanda Gorman is the youngest inaugural poet. You may know her from her speech in 2019 for Joe Biden's inauguration program. She is one of the six to do so. Amanda Gorman was born on March 7, 1998, and born in Los Angeles. She started writing at only a few years of age and graduated from Harvard University where she studies sociology. A few other of her achievements are that she has written three books, performed commissioned poems for CBS, and has received a genius grant from OZY Media. Amanda Gorman was not just the youngest inaugural poet, she was a change maker and continues to be one every day. That's great. Thanks for sharing that, Jasmine. Okay. I love it. And uh, as Jasmine was reading, I was kind of showing some pictures of Amanda Gorman on the screen. And I really appreciate you taking that opportunity to help 
spread the word about Amanda Gorman and what she contributes to our society these days. So thanks for that. All right. Well, boys and girls, that concludes our show for today. I hope you all continue to be a... Positive Ambassador. For Mammoth Heights Elementary, exhibit leadership through our Energy Bus principles and demonstrate a love of learning each and every day. And remember to... Dree, strive, become. That's the Mammoth way. Hey, Jasmine, how are you feeling on this Monday? Because I, I feel, feel great. great. Yes. Jasmine, thank you so much for joining me You're today. Welcome. It was a pleasure. Now let's say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Bye.